My name is Nikki. I'm an English makeup artist and I live with Carlo and our daughter Skye in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road but surrounded by fruit trees and olive groves and we grow our own food. We'll show you what it's really like to live on the Amalfi Coast. Subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. and last wedding of the year today and it is in Amalfi. That is a bit of a problem because as I mentioned in the last video the road is closed so I can't drive there. I've had to come down to the beach um, and I'm going to catch a ferry over. It's the only way and then I've got a bit of a hike up the steps because the hotel is the Grand Co is the Convento which is up at the road level just outside the town of Amalfi so I've got to walk along the port up a few hundred steps and I'm gonna arrive very, very hot and sweaty because it's about 33 degrees today. balcony views absolutely lovely and all the hotel gardens that stretch all the way down there and then some little lemon groves at the top here
Sì. Sì, lo so, lo, oh, io lo... Diciamo, è un argomento che si fa una vacanza di due giorni eccellenti, tu hai il carro, andare di un, di uno che fa queste cose qua e ti fa vedere pure il Mediterraneo. Puoi dire presente le persone stanno sempre a dire. Under here we have some, just some, of the canned tomatoes that we've made so far. Luca has already taken quite a lot up to his house and a lot of them has been made down at Carlo and Luca's parents' house but we have quite enough to keep us going through the winter at least. And more to do. There's still quite a few tomatoes growing in the greenhouse. Quite a lot of them are ripe and ready. I'll take that one with me. And outside there's still quite a few, other than the ones that we picked this morning. These rows in the back garden still have quite a few unripe tomatoes on them, so I reckon there's going to be another one or two canning sessions, at least. And we also have a very exciting fruit hanging over the fence that is very awkward to get to. Let's see if I can show you. It won't be ready for another month yet, but we have pomegranates dangling off the tree. And lots of baby lemons that are coming along nicely. It is a quarter to seven. We need to eat something tonight. There's something going on outside. There might be a fire. We can smell smoke. But we're going to go out and take some nighttime photos and have a wander around Positano in the dark. Come here, Mom. Let's go. What? Go to Daddy. Okay. Adesso fermati. Fermati. Dio mio. Sei troppo ansioso di uscire. It is very smoky up there. It smells of smoke. 
It's also, as you can see, extremely windy, which is very worrying. So we need to go and find out where this fire is. Because in our little valley here, we are quite protected and we can never really see what's happening around us. We can only see straight out to sea. So yeah, a big moth. So let's go and find out what is going on today. It is so smoky everywhere. Can't see any smoke coming up anywhere yet though. I've spoken to a couple of people and the fire is over Colley, over that way somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where, but it's way over the other side of the mountain over there. So it must be quite big for the smoke to arrive here. Yeah, my bad. We have decided that we are going to have dinner out. We're going to go to the Mediterranean. We haven't been at all this year. Carlo loves it here. This is and they do the best stuffed zucchini flowers in town. <laughs> and this is what happens here. We have not ordered anything. We haven't even looked at the menu. And look what has arrived. But I'll explain this only for us. If they come to us, we don't do it. Carlo's saying that, I must explain that, they do this for us, they don't do this for everybody. <laughs> they know what we like. These are the zucchini flowers that I was talking about. Oh, that's boiling hot. <laughs> wow, <laughs> incredible. We don't even have to think about what we're going to eat. <laughs> No, il fatto che lei fa il blocco, no? The sign of a good panna cotta is when it wobbles a lot. This is by far the best panna cotta I have ever had, and I've had a lot over the years. This is absolutely amazing. It's so delicate. It pretty much just melts into the spoon. It's really good. I'm making a very quick lunch today. It has to be gluten-free because Sky's friend Pamela is here and she's celiac. So I'm going to do just a very, very simple dish. I've chopped up, believe it or not, this is just two tomatoes from the garden. And I'm gonna crush some garlic and make up a tomato sauce with this and some mozzarella from yesterday that's in the fridge. And then I'm gonna cook up some rice and that's gonna be it. Very, very simple, but very tasty. We need a little bit of basil. I don't have 
much mozzarella at all, but it'll just give it a little bit of flavour and we'll put some Parmesan cheese on top. It only really needs about five or six minutes and it's ready. It actually takes longer to cook the rice. Um, how long does it take to cook the rice? This rice? Yeah, 15 to 18 minutes of the rice, so the sauce is quicker. I've just grated a big handful of Parmesan cheese into this and forgot to show you. So I'm just adding a little bit more. Just give it extra flavour. Carla came home and I completely forgot that I was supposed to be filming this. So basically the sauce was ready, um, the rice cooked and I mixed it all together. And added the mozzarella and I'm now going to add a few fresh basil leaves. Oh. Hi everyone, this is Sky here and I'm in England at my granddad's house for the weekend because tomorrow is a big day. Tomorrow I'm going to cut my hair. I've wanted to do it for about three years and I finally got the courage to do so. Also, since I'm going to be chopping off a lot, I've decided I want to donate my hair to the Little Princess Trust. Which, if you don't know, it is a charity that makes wigs for little girls who've had cancer treatment and have lost all their hair. Hopefully my hair is in good enough condition because I have quite a few split ends. I'll show you what it looks like from the back. very long and this is what it looks like from the front i have lots and lots of it so i don't really need it close your eyes get some rest i'm by your side I know you've had a really bad day But I'm right here, it's gonna be okay The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay Like me, like this as well now, and I hope someone will really enjoy my hair. I like it. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. 